So they did decide en masse to become the 51st state. 97% uh, of those who voted chose statehood. Right. However, the important thing to note there is that only 23% of the registered voting population actually voted in the plebiscite yesterday with the opposition parties, the non-statehood parties. Those are the parties urging for to either right. remain a commonwealth or be independent. Urging or urging uh, residents to avoid and boycott the plebiscite. Okay, yesterday. so uh, I apologize. Why, why does that in part matter? The boycott. Well, it, yeah. it matters because it challenges the legitimacy of the results from yesterday. Because what happens now is that the governor of Puerto Rico and the elected officials in Puerto Rico have to then take these results to Congress, right. which, in order to become a state, Congress has to make by statute them the 51st state. So it's one of those things where they need all of the firepower going into Washington, and it doesn't appear at this stage of the game that they have all of the necessary tools in the toolkit to make it a slam dunk. Okay, Hector, so if you're an investor, what, what, was it, what does it mean from your side of the things? I think it's just a further, um, <clears throat> it's further confirmation of the, the fact that the Commonwealth to date has acted quite poorly in, um, in, in regard of managing its fiscal condition, um, advancing its own economic growth, and frankly treating creditors. Uh, in a way that uh, you know that doesn't draw a lot of sympathy so what, from so the, what should happen? the U.S. Well, they should get their house in order. Um, you know, I'm I'm a pro-statehooder, and I believe you know the the uh, the citizens of Puerto Rico deserve uh, uh, American uh, you know statehood just as much as as anybody else do. But they got to get their house in order before they can become an additional liability. Um, and so what that means is, you know, think about this election. You know, the Congress doesn't care. The Congress is exhausted. From last year's efforts with respect to Puerto Rico, um, and then following through this year, you know, continually mired in their fiscal condition, they're not looking to extend them anything. And on the island, people don't seem to care that much either. They want to get to see the economy focused on. I mean, a 23% turnout with 97% of favor, that's the kind of victory that, like, Putin celebrates. I mean, that's not a really credible outcome, right? And so as a result, what you need is you need to see the government get back to governing. They need to put their fiscal house in order. They need to get their credit back in line. They need to make Puerto Rico open for business. It's not open for business. And so, but in terms of the bet, in terms of the bet on their debt, how do you handicap and, and, and how do you think about that and how important is it for them to, to actually be granted statehood? It, it, you know, it was, never, it, it was never necessary to underwrite statehood as a prerequisite to being successful in being a participant in the municipal marketplace or for that matter, for being an entity or, you know, a viable, a viable, you know, a viable uh, entity like a state. What they needed to do is, you know, avoid the self-inflicted damage of being irresponsible around expenses, not collecting their revenues, and not honoring their own constitution. They themselves have gone rogue. Think about where they were at the beginning of the year. We had a new law. We had a new governor. We had a responsible board. There was an opportunity for change. There was an opportunity to embrace correcting their mistakes of the past. They've squandered it by actually increasing expenses doing nothing but continuing to default, failing to negotiate with, with creditors. So right now, I'm happy that we face a judge. I'm, I'm done with the political arena. I'm really glad as a creditor, and I think others are as well. You now have an adult in the room with rules to follow. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.